Good morning guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Today, first off, I have a white chocolate mocha, first hot drink of the year. And because it is rainy here in Seattle, um, I'm gonna do a shop with me today. Um, I'm mostly looking for fall, uh, fall decor, and then maybe some baby clothes. So um, I've been watching a lot of these fall decor videos. I love them. So I'm gonna go into Hobby Lobby and maybe Target. Mostly I need to go Target for baby clothes, but I don't think they're gonna have any fall decor. And then I might try a few other places. So I'm just gonna take you along with me. Okay, so my Hobby Lobby had so much stuff, it was honestly a little bit overwhelming, but first thing I saw were a couple of candles, not a couple, there was a lot of candles. Um, and then they had a bunch of these sticks that you can put in your garden. They had sunflowers and corn. I love the sunflowers and corn. They also had some pumpkins. Um, I really considered getting these, but they did not have a price sticker on them, so I just passed over them. They also had a bunch of wreaths, but I already have a fall wreath, and let me tell you, it was pretty tempting to get another one, but these, again, were a little pricey. I think Hobby Lobby's a bit out of my budget, even with their 40% um, off coupon. A lot of their stuff is still pretty pricey. They also had so many single pumpkins for DIYs. Little tiny pumpkins are definitely something I do not need. I have so many from Walmart and Dollar Tree and Target that I've gotten over the years. And honestly, if I wanted a small pumpkin to DIY, I'd probably go back to one of those places for them because here they were just a little bit pricier. I did like the like acorn decorations though. I thought they were a little bit different. Those you don't exactly see everywhere. And then some more sunflowers that I just thought were super, super cute. And then they just barely started putting out their Halloween stuff. They did not have a lot of Halloween stuff out when I went. Um, they did have these cute little spat rubber spatulas. Um, but they actually had more Thanksgiving stuff than Halloween stuff. And I found a bunch of like kids Thanksgiving um, sort of activities. I really thought about getting these little pumpkins that kids can color in for my kids, um, but then eventually decided against it um, just because I would rather have something that's more three-dimensional that I can stand up and use as decoration, but they were super, super cute. They also had a lot of like more glamorous looking stuff, a lot of glittery stuff and metallic stuff. I loved these little trucks that they have, not just at Hobby Lobby, but at everywhere. I love the little pumpkin trucks. I feel like they just scream fall time. They also had a plate with a pumpkin truck. And then they had these cute little kids plates, but they were pretty pricey too. They were like $5.99 per plate. And you can usually find something similar at the Target dollar spot um, for only a dollar each. And then I was dying over their mugs. Their mugs were so, so cute. And I think the mug that I ended up purchasing was like $10, which again, you can find way cheaper mugs at like Target or Walmart, but it was too cute. I could not pass it up. And then they had a huge selection of scarecrows and I'm not usually like obsessed with scarecrows, but they were so adorable. Um, it was almost overwhelming how many scarecrows they had because I just couldn't choose between them. And then the very last thing that I saw and loved were these little floral pumpkins. These were a bit pricey. They were like 17 bucks each, but they have a little bit of glitter and they're just made out of like these little flower, like flower wood chips. And then right before I left, I found the one sign that I was actually looking for, which Denise Medina um, hauled on her channel. And I was so excited that I found it. Okay, so filming in public is so nerve wracking, but I got some goodies from Hobby Lobby. First off, I got this cute little guy. Everything fall was like 40% off, by the way, but I got this cute little guy. He's on a little stand, so I can put him on my countertop. It was $3 um, before taking the 40% off. And then I also got, I'm so excited I found this. 
Um, but I've got this sign. It says a whole latte love and pumpkin spice. Um, another YouTuber, I forget her name. I'll link her um, video down below. But she hauled this in a Hobby Lobby haul. And this is the whole reason I went to Hobby Lobby. This is the only one I could find there. And um, it's originally $14 before the 40% off. And then I got a mug. Big surprise there. I love fall most of all. I absolutely do not need any more mugs, especially fall mugs. Because um, I have... I have like probably more fall mugs than any other holiday or season, but I just like, I love the orange on that and like that speckled look. So picked that up. So that's all I got at Hobby Lobby. And now I'm going to go on to Target. Target did not have a ton of stuff for little babies. I loved these onesies with the burgundy and the dark teal color, but um, I really don't need newer onesies. I need sleepers, and they only had one sleeper in those colors left, and it was not in newborn sizes, which is what I am specifically looking for. Um, and then also none of their things had like price tags on them. Um, some of them had like tags on the, on the little wire rack, but a lot of them also didn't. And so I was a little frustrated when shopping at Target today. And also just in general, they didn't have a ton of baby stuff. Most of the stuff they had were like toddler sizes, um, like 24 months and up. And what I really, really needed was newborn and maybe even preemie sizes. Um, Cause as most of you guys know, um, my baby is measuring kind of small and they didn't have much to choose from. Okay, so as I suspected, hold on. As I suspected, Target did not have anything for Fallout. And actually they didn't even have that many baby clothes in newborn sizes that I liked. So first thing, I got my daughter some pull-ups because um, she's running out and we're potty training right now. I also got sweet potatoes because my husband requested sweet potatoes for dinner. And then I got two things. I got some newborn sleepers. These look kind of big for newborn, but this one is polka dot on this side, but I got it for this one. Look how cute little pink hedgehogs. I love that. They had some like other burgundy sleepers and they also had like, you saw in the shop with me part but they had like them in onesies too and she doesn't really need more onesies. She needs sleepover sleepers and she needs pants and she needs them in newborn sizes. Um, and then I also just got these, this little two pack of long pants cause she's gonna be born in November. So she needs some pants to go with her onesies and it's just one pink one. And then I mostly loved this floral. It's got like little sparkly flowers and stuff. So. That's everything from Target. They didn't even have the Miss Myers Fall Scents, which to yesterday they finally started selling the Miss Myers Fall Scents as um as singles before you can only pre-order them in like big bunches and I I mostly just want this the seasonal sprays, the all-purpose sprays, not the soaps and stuff. So I placed my Miss Myers order yesterday. I'm going to be doing a big fall haul, which includes like cleaning supplies, candles, decor. And so a lot of the stuff you see in this video, you're going to be seeing again um, in that video. So that's it for Target. I'm going to go to Marshall's. Next, I went to Marshall's and they had so many cute Ray Dunn things. They had these big bowls and then they also had a lot of Halloween stuff. I was really excited to see so much of their Halloween stuff already out. I wasn't necessarily shopping for Halloween stuff this time around, but it just made me happy to see it, especially all of these mugs. Um, they had this Ray Dunn trick or treat um, travel mug for $13.99, and then they also had the same one in fall, y'all. I've And I've seen other hauls that they also have it in pumpkin spice, but they didn't have it in pumpkin spice at my Marshalls. And then they just had a bunch of little um, like Ray Dunn plates. This one said gobble. I'm pretty sure this was one of the few Thanksgiving items they had out. They didn't have a lot of Thanksgiving stuff yet. And I loved this Charlie Brown mug. I thought it was so cute. And then my Marshalls also had the little gnomes. I've never seen the gnomes there before, but I've seen a lot of people talk about them on YouTube. Um, and then they also had a couple turkeys. Again, not a ton of Thanksgiving stuff. 
And then one thing that I was looking for were some dish towels or hand towels because um, I don't think I have any for the fall time. I believe I might have some Halloween ones um, stashed somewhere, but I was looking for something that I could keep up, um, that I could put up a little earlier. I thought this Happy Fall Y'all one was super cute, but um, it only came with one that had letters and then the other one was just a plain blue one. They also had some cookie sheets, some more trucks with pumpkins. Um, they had a lot of cute pillows. Uh, I usually get just get pillow covers. Um, that way I don't have to like find a place to store seasonal pillows. I can just change out the pillow covers and store the covers. And then they had a ton more um, fall mugs as well. And then I loved these little pumpkin succulents. These were so stinking cute. I did pass up on them though because I know that Target had some tiny mini ones at the dollar spot last year. So I'm hoping they'll have some this year. And then I was obsessed with their candle selection. They had Ray Dunn candles, which I didn't even know were a thing, and they smelled so good. They were pretty pricey though. I think they were like $12 each, maybe $12.99 each. And then um, they just had a bunch of other candles. They had Yankee candles even, um, but I did pass up on the candles because I, I just recently bought a few at Walmart. Okay guys, Marshalls had so, so many cute fall stuff. Not just cute fall stuff, but just cute stuff in general. I haven't gone to Marshalls or TJ Maxx in like a really, really long time. Mostly because like Marshalls and TJ Maxx are kind of those stores that you go to when you don't need anything. You go to them when you just want to spend money. So I try not to go to them because literally I go to them and just find cute stuff and spend a bunch of money. But I only got two things. So. First thing, I got these little like hand towels. Um, I usually just put them on my oven. They were seven bucks. You can get hand towels like this for super cheap at Walmart. These are like really nice quality though. They're super thick. I put their little donuts, little Halloween donuts. That's so freaking cute. Um, I mostly got it cause like I, I had to get it for the kids. Like that's so freaking cute to add a little pop of Halloween in our kitchen since most of our decor is fall. And then I got my very first Ray Dunn item, which is this travel mug. It is um, stainless steel tumbler, 24 hours cold and 12 hours hot. It was $13, well $12.99, but $13. It says fall, y'all. I actually surprisingly like um, Ray Dunn, and I say surprisingly because usually I like stuff with a lot of color. And Ray Dunn is very like minimalistic, but I love watching Ray Dunn like shop with me's and hauls and collections on YouTube. So when I saw that, I was like, what better first Ray Dunn item to get than a mug for my favorite season? So that's all I got at Marshall's. I did really, really good because they had so many cute items. So now on to Michael's and I think that's gonna be the last stop. And lastly, I went to Michael's and I actually liked the selection at Michael's better than the selection at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think the stuff at Michael's was just for one, it was more my style. And I think for two, it just wasn't, it was a little more organized. It wasn't so cluttered and overwhelming. I love that all of the different signage that they had. I just thought it was super, super cute. And honestly, the prices are a little bit better. I know that Hobby Lobby always has like coupons and stuff going on, but you know, sometimes you miss out on the coupons and the sales. And I just thought Michael's stuff was a bit more affordable. They also had, again, some really stinking cute pillows but um, I try to pass up on the pillows and just use pillow covers because it's just so much easier to store. And again, a bunch of more signs. They had the cutest signs. I also love this garland. Um, I'm really looking into garland to put like around our living room, um, especially since we're getting a new couch this year. I think it would just look really cute with the new couch, um, but I think it was a little pricey for the garland, and I know that Target usually has some um, for a bit more inexpensive, 
and then the fall florals were so cute at Michael's. They had um, just a really amazing setup and it just looked so cute. Have you guys seen those like viral photos online of people doing photo shoots at Michael's in front of their faux flowers? I love those and I definitely seeing all the flowers at Michael's made me want to do that. They also had some like leaf garland which I thought was so gorgeous and then they had a bunch of little critters and they were buy one get one free. It was really tempting but um, I passed. And then I love these little corn pumpkins. These are so unique. I love them. And then Michael's also had a ton of Halloween stuff. These are just um, a bunch of little wooden things for kids to paint and color on. And I thought they were super cute. You can usually find some similar at the do uh, Target dollar spot. Um, but they were only $3 at Michael's. And I think at Target dollar spot, they're also about $3. And then they just had all kinds of Halloween decor already out. They had indoor decor and outdoor decor, and they are definitely ready for Halloween over at Michael's. And then lastly, I absolutely loved this like purple cool tone fall setup they had. I personally probably wouldn't decorate with purple and cool tone fall colors, but I just thought it was so, so gorgeous. All right, guys, I only got two things at Michael's. I actually think Michael's had like a better selection than Hobby Lobby, but since I like already got quite a bit of stuff, I'm trying to be good. But I got two of these. They were only, they are normally $5. They are on sale for $3. Plus I'm, um, I signed up for a Michael's card or to be a Michael's, like I signed up my email with Michael's. So I got off like another couple cents or something but these were only like three dollars each i thought they'd be fun for the kids to paint for halloween they have little hooks on the top and um they light up in the back there's a little switch so they can light up so i just got these for the kids from michael's and that is it for my very first shop with me my fall decor slash target shop with me um let me know if you guys like watching these videos um it's really nerve-wracking to film in public i felt like I don't know, I just felt like everyone was watching me and I wasn't even like talking or anything. It was just really nerve wracking. So that's everything I got and keep an eye out for my fall haul coming soon. The fall items you saw here, you're gonna see again in that video. So it might be a little repetitive, but I also am gonna like haul all of my Miss Myers stuff, all the candles I've bought recently. Um, what else have I gotten? I got some more decor from Walmart recently. So keep an eye out for that video because it's going to be just a big, gigantic fall haul. So um, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.